Um, so The Witch of Pentasaurus is about Sandrine Salome, who's a New York socialite in 1894, who runs away from home and her husband and goes to Paris to live with her grandmother and gets there and finds that her grandmother's house is sort of inhabited by a 16th century ghost of the courtesan witch who is her ancestor. And wow. La Lune, that's the name of the courtesan from mm -hmm. the 16th century, La Lune has been waiting and trying to possess her descendants. She, um, by accident, murdered her lover in the 16th century and became a witch to try to bring him back to life. And when that didn't work, uh -huh. she's been trying to inhabit one of her descendants so that she can feel love again. But it has a lot to do with the art world in Paris during the Belle Epoque when Matisse uh -huh. and Picasso and um, Moreau and so many amazing, Rodin was a sculpture, so many amazing people were there in Paris at the time. And there was a huge underground occult movement at the same mm -hmm. time, with black masses and witches and all kinds of creepy, wonderful, gothic things going on. <laughs> um, a ton of research went into writing this book. I've been writing about France for about six years. Mm -hmm. My great-grandmother was born in France in 1880 and actually was a witch. And this book was sort of inspired by her. But I've been going back to France every year, kind of tracing my roots and mm -hmm. getting to know the city better and better. So there's a lot of that research. Mm -hmm. And then there was about three months of really hardcore research about the occult movement in Paris at the time. I'm a painting major and an art history major. Mm -hmm. So I had to take a little bit of a refresher course of what the art world was like in right. Paris in 1894. But I knew, I knew a lot of that. Um, in terms of what's there, so much is still there. Um, yeah. The school yeah. that Sandrine goes to, the art school that she goes to, um, Ecole des Beaux-Arts, is still there. The paint store, Sennelier, that she goes to is still there. Mo every restaurant that she goes to in the book is still there. Um, the house that she lives in is sort of still there. The street is still, the streets are certainly there. I've kind wow. of taken two houses and put them together. So if you walk down the block, the rest of the block looks the same, but you wouldn't be able to find her exact house. Mm -hmm. um, basically, I don't think that there's the only thing that's not still there is easier. But the mm -hmm. nightclubs, the two nightclubs that she goes to, one is called Hell. There was a, a whole group of nightclubs in Paris during the Belle Epoque that were all decorated like places from the world. There was one called Hell, one called Heaven. It was one that was based on a jail. And the waiters and maitre d's all dressed in themes. So if you had, Amazing. if you went to the prison one, you were waited on by prisoners with balls and chains around their ankles. <laughs> so those nightclubs aren't still there, but they were there. Mm 